Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at where Tesla and NEO stock price could be by the end of January. With that, please hit the like, subscribe to my channel if you like watching my videos, and also please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for educational purposes. With that, let's take a look at our Tesla and NEO over here. So the very first thing is we'll be drawing some key levels and on the basis of that we'll be taking a look at how stock price has been behaving lately, what's the sentiment in the market and all in all uh, where do we foresee incoming, you know it's just a week left until the month end. Uh, so we, we will be doing some analysis based on you know the news and the technicals over here. So all in all um, you know, if you have been watching my previous NEO videos, I have mentioned that, you know, NEO has found its floor at around $9.50 and because of multiple times it has tested down here. So around this level of $9 to $9.50, I really don't foresee NEO falling below this. And luckily, you know, we do see NEO now being establishing itself over 20 days moving average and yellow line is 20 days moving average guys and the 50 is purple. Sorry, purple is the 50 days moving average and the red one is 200 days moving average. And some of the other key levels that we see definitely one is right around the 20 days moving average $10.81 because of previous resistance, very minor resistance down over here. And then our little bit of major resistance that I have mentioned and it was $11 and around 80 cents to $12 and 30 cents or so and the reason for that is this you know minor you know small major when I say minor major resistance I mean to say it recently occurred it doesn't hold that importance because it's a newly formed resistance without any prior resistance but then if you put it together with other resistance close by it becomes major resistance because other resistance are very close to this resistance as well and this being the recent one i would like to focus on this as well then the next range is definitely this 12 dollars and you know um 27 or 30 cents that i have been always talking that neo really needs to establish itself over this so that the momentum can come in and you know uh, we do can at least foresee that neo will start going to the upside instead of forming this range that it has been running into to nine to twelve dollars or so in last few months now and also if you notice back in 2022 the month of may this is where this huge pivotal point was and it's acting as a major resistance right now as well which is around twelve dollars and thirty cents so neo definitely needs to get over this to show some assurity um to the upside and then we do have another resistance level at give or take uh around your $13.50 and then above that is around $14. Now we above that uh, we have a resistance at $15.18 or so. So what we have to see now is for NEO where do we foresee this going in next few months. Just looking at how it looks like right now the pattern and NEO going up and today this strong buying green candle that came in it shows a huge you know bullish sentiment that neo has gotten over the major resistance when as a major resistance in this case is this resistance that was formed $11.80 it just got out of it today and this was you know something that i was looking forward to that once we can get over this we have at least a chance to you know at go to the next resistance level and you know if there is a pullback happens neo needs to find support at 12 sorry 11 dollars and 80 cents and if it can stay above this then we know that um neo has a trajectory it's going to keep following this to the upside so if you notice how it's forming you know higher highs lower lows compared to you know previous you know the low so um now let's quickly take a look at in the news so in the news well china has been opening so that has been you know a great positive sentiment and also all in all ev sector has been going up lately so and again neo is coming out with their phone um and then also all in all as i have covered in my you know previous videos guys feel free to check it out on my channel like 
neo stock is highly undervalued and i go over this you know why i believe neo stock is highly undervalued i go through a lot of data i compare neo with other ev producers so i highly recommend you check out this video uh, you can just go to my channel and it's you can even go to the pay playlist that will be you know uh, i have a neo undervalued playlist so you can take a look at that now let's talk about where do we foresee neo by the end of january so how I'm looking at it is just looking at how the candle has formed today, it looks like there's a lot of good buying pressure. And once you can get over $12.25, the next area of resistance is around $13.50 and then $14. I believe that, um, let me bring out my drawing tool so that I can you know, give a visualization. What I'm foreseeing is, you know, in coming days, NEO can and will, I think, go over $12 and, you know, the, uh, this one, $12 and 50 cents. And this will allow the 20 days moving average to start going to the upside. I do believe that NEO might find resistance at $13 and 50 cents. It might do a pullback and then start going to the upside with the support of 20 days moving average now being said that i believe that by the end of january neo can get between around 13 dollars and 50 cents to 14 dollars range so around this area so but this is yet to be seen you know market does behave differently every day um so let's see how this week goes but just looking at how strong you know neo has formed its candle today i do believe that neo is showing strength to the upside at least by the year end it's not sorry the year end but january end at least to be somewhere between $13.50 to $14 but we'll see right and so guys this is what i want to cover about neo let's take a look at tesla now so tesla um you know as I have been covering in my previous videos, I don't foresee Tesla breaking below $100. I highly believe this is the floor that Tesla has found, $102 or so. And then it's another support line being at $107 or give or take, you know, $108, right? Another resistance of on Tesla was $123 or, or 97 cents. Uh, and I have been always telling that once tesla can break over this 124 dollars range we know that it has gotten out of the double bottom consolidation which means tesla is set for the upside at least to the relief rally of other major resistance points right one of the big resistance is at 166 dollars right over here so tesla is looking great guys and, and i have also covered in even you know around here that if you get any pullback when this green candle formed over 20, over 20 days moving average, I did cover in the video back then, any pullback to $124 range is a buy point. And, you know, because it was out of double bottom consolidation and it broke the neckline. So, and looks like, you know, it's been going great up to the upside. So if you, you know, bought it back then, you know, good for you guys. Um, I'm in loss actually, because my average is at around, you know, quite high up. So I'm not adding any more to my position, but um, I'm, you know, just looking forward to have a really, really flat rally back and maybe cut some position because I am heavy in, in Tesla right now. The other point I want to cover is this was another resistance $136 that Tesla has broke today, which is great to see because of the previous break of the support here and then recent resistance form. So Tesla just breaking over this $136, which I was telling that this might act as a resistance right but it's really great to see it has broken over that and our next level of you know resistance is at 149 dollars or so right over here 148 dollars because of the break of support here and then also if you go back in 2020 this is where our major resistance levels are also here right so and i also foresee that tesla will hit this 50 days moving average and will resist so if i bring out my drawing too you know i can easily see tesla just how strong it's going up it's in the re relief rally or whatnot 
you please expect some resistance at 50 days moving average for Tesla while the 20 days moving average will go up. It's highly possible that Tesla might, you know, pull back to one of the support levels and find support at 20 days moving average be before going up again. Um, but I foresee Tesla at least testing $166 by, you know, in maybe a few weeks, not maybe by the end of January, but in a few weeks. And where I see Tesla by the end of this month would be around um, 100 and around this area, close to 50 days moving average, guys, around 50, $155 or so. This is where I see Tesla by the end of this month. But again, this is just my opinion, guys, not a financial advice. And the reason for that is all the bad news that Tesla can have in the media has all been there for it now. I don't think there's anything left on the bad news side for Tesla to uh, go through anymore. And even if whatever Elon Musk is going through, you know, his a trial over you know tweets on twitter regarding tesla back in you know 2018 or so like it's not affecting stock right so this is what i you know say is that stock market has a mind of its own sometimes we have to very be very careful with resistance support levels key levels indicators and the news there's just, we can't just always trade on the news and we just can't always trade on technicals. There has to be a combination of both. And right now, technicals are taking more precedence over our news, right? So all in all, things looking great for Tesla. And as I said, NEO, I believe, would be uh, around by the end of this month, uh, $13.50 to $14 range. And Tesla, I believe, around $155 by the end of January of this year. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like, subscribe to my channel. And with that, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.